What is going on guys? Welcome back to Dude Ranch DIY. My name is Jake. Chris is over there. We just got done fueling up the equipment. Uh, this is the first, I guess, full tank of fuel that I'm putting in the new excavator. We got it with about three quarters of a tank. Or no, this is the second full tank of fuel I put in the machine. I think it's got about 19 hours on it so far. Um, we are out here in the wood yard. Oh, and I just greased it. Greased it. I was told to grease it every time you run a tank of fuel through it. Here is Chris. And we got over here a ton, <laughs> big, big, two loads of beach. And some of this beach is huge. First two loads of beach coming in today. This is all the limb wood. All the big stuff is in the big dumpster truck. That looks like some nice stuff. There's some big beach trunks in there. I think they will be prime for the Easton made mini skid steer splitter, the MS-324. nice poles in there. Jeez, that is a big <laughs> trunk piece. They had a crane. He wasn't kidding. I'm going to have to cut this before I can even move it. That is huge. Got to zoom out. That is uh, up well past my belly button. That is a big piece. I don't think the excavator's lifting that one. He just said that this piece here was 8,000 pounds and this piece here was 6,000 pounds. Crane operators can tell how much each pick is on their little screen in there. So that is a big piece. He said they put it right down into the back of his truck with the crane. This stuff got delivered yesterday. You can see there is a lot of really nice diameter stuff in here, but then there are these two, or really, I guess three, but it's really just <laughs> this one piece here is absolutely massive. This was a crane job. Did I tell you how much that piece weighed? No, you didn't. Take a guess. Take a guess how much this one piece weighed. Uh... 6,000 pounds. He said the crane operator said 8,000 pounds. 8,000 pounds, and this this one right here was 6,000 pounds. Now, these are some pretty big pieces of wood for us to deal with. We have the equipment to maneuver them. I don't think we can just easily move those logs, though. So we're going to have to do some cutting and reorganizing. And while we're doing that, we thought we would kind of let them in on a little secret that we're going to try and move the wood pile, huh? Yeah. Yeah. That's probably gonna be our first step. All right, let's show them where we're gonna do it. All right, guys, so as you know, we got the mini excavator now, and um, as some of you pointed out in that video that Chris and I did bucking up and, you know, doing firewood with the mini excavator, you're saying how far away that pile was. Well, a lot of you might not realize, but that pile used to come out to about where Chris was standing. We only had about, you know, a truck's width and a half, and we worked through all of that wood. If you go back in the videos, you'll see that the pile was pretty big and uh, just about as tall as it is, but, you know, about 40, 50 foot longer. Um, so that's why we're just trying to finish up that pile. Our plan for the new log pile to make, you know, minimize the amount of distance we have to track with the excavator is that we want it to basically start right about where Chris is standing now and have the edge of it be about where Chris is. So we're gonna shift it over. That way we have you know, still plenty of room to come in. As you can see, a truck is pulling in right now with even more wood. And we'll be able to have more room for totes over here because this pile will be gone. So I hope that makes sense. We're gonna be working on that here today.
the best load, but you gotta take the good with the bad. Big logs mean big guns. Breaking out the 3120 with the 48 inch bar today. Gonna let her eat. Alright guys, that's probably going to wrap it up today. Chris and I have our adult cornhole league tonight, so we got to go home and make the wives dinner. But uh, it might appear as if we just made a big mess in the wood yard today. But trust me, there is a method to our madness. So, next time we're out here, we will continue on with all this. Just picking up the excavator from its first uh, rental to my buddy. He, uh... We work together. He's the one that some of you so astutely have pointed out has uh, been hunting in the background or seen his hunting, you know, tree stand and feeder and stuff. He rented the machine for the weekend to put in a drain in front of his garage, picking it up, headed home. Uh, as you can see on flat ground, the truck really doesn't sag at all. Um, it's like nice and level. Uh, airbags are obviously inflated, but looks good. All right, guys, believe it or not, we left off with this video a little over a week ago. It was probably about two seconds for you guys, but it is a gorgeous day here in southwestern Connecticut. Chris and I are back in the wood yard, and we are gonna tackle this beach. 
Um, I'm not sure exactly what he's doing. Oh, I think he's flipping over these logs so that we can finish cutting them. The Balmalite with the Easton Made MS324 is sitting right here where we left it. We started chunking up some of the big rounds of beach with that, and uh, I think that's the plan today. We're just gonna kind of keep on keeping on and try and get this stuff down to a more manageable size.
right, guys, that was a good session. We have a Mondo pile of, you know, chunked up pieces. We got through that whole massive log that I showed you in the beginning, and uh, we basically just have one beach log left out of the really big stuff. Obviously, you remember we started the new pile, and then Chris even started getting into that maple load over there. Wipe it off your new pants? Yeah. Gotta wipe off the new pants. Gotta keep them clean for as long as possible. If you guys haven't noticed, we are both rocking new chainsaw pants here. The Arborware Dogwood Chainsaw Pants. Every now and then, get a question in the comments, are you guys wearing chainsaw pants? Most of the time, no. Sometimes, yes. Today is one of those days. Today is one of those days. Um, they had a sale a couple weeks ago for like beginning of spring. I have the Arbor Wood, I have the Arbor Wear Iron Wood pants, which is like their winter pant. It's a little bit heavier. These are the Dogwoods. These are actually way lighter and uh, not quite as hot for the summer months. Really nice pants. I'll put a link to them down in the description, but we both just got them and we're trying them out. What did you think about what we did here? I think it was awesome. It was a lot of work. We finally got into a groove and found the sweet spot for the both of us. Yeah, um, I noticed that. It, it it seemed like it was really hard to make that first pop on these big rounds, mm -hmm. but as soon as you broke that surface tension, it just kind of it went was easy. Away. It yeah. was easy on the really big ones. There was one in particular. I think you were filming me up close mm -hmm. where it was. I just couldn't find a spot to yeah. get it. And then once it popped that first time, boom, 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 I was going all the way around, splitting the top half, popping it off, then grabbing the bottom half and splitting that up. I did find a little trick that like when it wouldn't go the first time, if you just kept the, the blade in the same spot, like height wise, but changed the angle to kind of, you know, if you think of like a circle, you know, a tree is made up of a bunch of rays yeah. that go outward. And if you just change that pitch a little bit, the angle to follow, you know, the cracks in it, then it seemed to, um, you know, like that a little bit better. Now this machine doesn't, you know, put out a ton of tonnage and it doesn't really have to because you're just trying to split down these bigger pieces. So when they don't split, if you just play with it, you know, it eventually will split it, I think. Um, you were on the excavator. How are you doing with that? I'm doing, pretty good. doing a little bit better. Uh, In the beginning, the, I was like, oh, this is going to yeah. take a while. <laughs> no, but you found your groove. I, I did find the groove. Uh, there is a lot of play with the thumb and the curl function, trying to figure out where the sweet spot is. So when you grab the round, it doesn't just immediately slip out of the grip right. once you get it up off the ground. Um, but once I got that down, it was kind of smooth sailing from there. Yeah. I do still have to kind of play with the smoothness of my transitions on the uh, upper boom or lower boom, I guess, and my tracking, but mm -hmm. practice makes perfect. Yeah, and I mean, the big thing here, obviously there's a lot of equipment involved, but like we never in our wildest dreams would have <laughs> wanted to, I mean, we would have been able to with the Estimate, but we wouldn't have even thought about doing processing wood that big. Yeah without this equipment. And that just goes to show, and really like the excavator, yeah, the excavator helped. We could have rolled that log with the tractor. It would have probably been a little bit more difficult, but yeah. we could have done it. But this mini skid steer splitter really allows you to start, if you get logs delivered, it allows you to take bigger, gnarlier stuff and break it down to manageable size pieces. You know, we're talking about pieces like this, you know, that you can pick up with two hands and run it through the machine, no problem. You know, that came out of a round that was this tall. Um, so this thing is pretty inexpensive. I think Andrew has it posted for like 2,500 bucks or something like that. Don't quote me on it, but he's already, I've noticed, made some improvements um, that are a little bit different than this. Keep in mind, we have, you know, model number 001, the prototype, um, but, I think this thing is great. Yeah, it's awesome. And like you get into a groove running it and you really, you know, that you just do that, get into a groove. So if you want to find out more information about 
the MS324 by Eastamade. Head down to the Eastamade wood splitters link in the description. Check out Arbor Wear. They make awesome hoodies, chainsaw pants, you name it for the, you know, forestry industry. Um, and I think that's going to about wrap it up. Next video, maybe we can get into splitting some of this stuff because we're going to have to start. We're, we're making too big of a stockpile. Yeah, pile. yeah <laughs> this is a really big pile. So as always, guys, if you like the video, give it a big thumbs up. If you haven't done so already, click that subscribe button down below. Questions, comments, feedback, we'd love to hear it. Put it in the comment section. But for now, I'm Jake. And I'm Chris. This is Dude Ranch DIY. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you guys here next time.